has a lot of different toolbars that you're going to be using. The top right here is going to be your most useful tools. The My Media tab has all of your images and videos on your computer that you're going to be putting into your iMovie. You add your images um, easily by dragging into this section, or over here, this toolbar has some other um, ideas that you could, or other areas that you could get photos from that are on your computer already as well. So that's the My Media section. I'll do a video to teach you how to add some things there later. We have audio, and there's three different areas that you could add from your audio, your iTunes library, you have sound effects that's already in iMovie, and then when you get advanced, you could add some GarageBand sound effects and add it through that. All right, your titles is going to give you um, transitions, how you want to be able to, or excuse me, text, how you want to be able to show text. If you hover over, you can see how it's going to play out. As you can see, these have um, animations in them. Others just have the plain old text right there, and that's how it's going to look. So you can drag those into your iMovie to get text to explain what's going on. Backgrounds, there's a various different backgrounds that you can use to use as transitions or to use as the background behind your text. Um, it's really up to you if you want to use these. There's some cool ones with globes that'll take you from, you know, San Francisco to Chicago or whatever you'd like. And then transitions. This toolbar is going to help you drag in between clips to add transitions. And like you can see, this one fades to white or fades to black, blur. You really don't want to add too many transitions. You just want to do it to where it will really add to the effect whatever's going on in your movie. But you should not have a transition between every single uh, clip. All right, and just to give you um, an idea, when you drag some things down into your iMovie, like let's just say this road we're going to drag in to start our iMovie off with, there's lastly this toolbar over here that you're going to be using, and this has a lot of different things, like if you wanted to change the brightness or the darkness, you could do that with the different um, palette options, change the brightness of the different colors. You can also um, have it auto. It will do it for you. Um, and you can match color to another frame if you needed to. Or you could add filters, which we, I know you all love filters. You could add filters to your images also and make it pop that way. All right.